Welcome to a new episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have another magic meal day view. I've got two letters, one from Germany from the Kugel Blitz group, uh, and that's Bull Lightning, I think, in German. And I also have a letter from the Netherlands with a fish in it. Guess what fish it is? And also, I have just something special I want to show you. These cards, I, I know they kind of look probably normal here on camera from a distance. Uh, it's quite a bunch, but uh, they're just all like cheaper cards and not, you know, any, I guess this bull lightning might be the most valuable card in the stack. It's all reprints. They're all real cards as well. They're not fakes, but look, I cannot tear it. And why can I not tear it? Because it's actually laminated. Like, oh, now you can see it, right? She can see the reflection. So it's actually laminated. So somebody took the time back in 94, 95, or 96, a long time ago anyway, to laminate these. So I got these because my brother picked them up from the uh, from his local game store who just bought a collection just with tons of cards in it. And he found these cards in there. It's just hilarious. So this is before people had sleeves or maybe they thought the sleeves were too expensive. So they were like, you know, I'm just gonna laminate it myself, why not? And then I can play them and they'll stay good forever. Oh man, it's like, this is the ultimate way to prepare your deck to play in pubs, right? This is the ultimate pub deck. Although it's not a deck, cause they're all like, you know, card, there are no mana in here, for example, no lands. Um, you know, we've got a lot of greens. You can, you can build a green deck with this. But then it would have to laminate the green lands as well, I think. But yeah, maybe. Let me know if you've ever like seen something like this before. Look at that glare. Because it's laminated. It's actually pretty well done. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I just thought it was hilarious. So I don't know what to do with them. Let me know in the comments below what would you do with this. I mean, just keeping them here in a plastic bag. Like I said, maybe I'm gonna laminate some lands and I'll have like the ultimate pub deck or something. I don't know. But just something odd you find in, in collections. Um, anyway, back to the mail day. So I've got two pieces of mail. So let me just start with this. This is just one card in here, I believe, from the Netherlands. Uh, it's a card. I only had the revised version, so I wanna get the original one from Arabian Nights. As I said, it's a fish, so it's a blue card. Let's see if we can open this up. Here you go, there it is. The Island Fish Jesconicus. And that's actually, it's a rare, right? Let's get it out of there. Let's get it out of there. Boom, there we go. I love the art of this card, it's so cool. I wish, obviously, that it would be slightly more playable, um, so it's, how, many, how much mana to cast again? Let's have a look here. It's a dark symbol. Seven mana to cast. This is a four. It's hard to see though, but three islands and four to cast. Seven mana for this creature from antiquities. Summon island fish. It's a six, eight. And then during your upkeep, you have to pay three blue to untap island fish, right? Or dur during your untap phase, actually, not your upkeep. Cannot attack unless opponent has islands in play. An island fish is destroyed immediately if at any time you have no islands in play. So the thing is, as you know, you know, I love to play with my mono blue deck and part of me wants to build a deck with sea serpents, island fish jasconicas, Don Don, of course, uh, also pirate ships. So all these cards that have this island home mechanic, right? So then you're kind of like the ultimate blue mage, right? And of course I've done that in the past. I've built those decks with phantasmal terrain in it and magical hack. Problem though is it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. I just want it to be a little bit better, but still it's a super cool card. So I'm really happy to own this original card from the uh, and uh, the Arabian Nights expansion. So really cool. It's in a pretty good shape as well. So could get it for a fair price. So I'm very happy with that. And then I have some mail from Germany and um, these guys are called the Bull Lightnings. I believe the Kugel Blitz. And they're actually organizing their first old school magic tournament. I believe it's the 29th of uh, July of this year. 
you're interested in that, um, leave a comment in the comments below and I'll see if I can get you in touch with the Google Blitz guys. So here we are, look at this, it's all stack. Boom, boom, boom. And he um, became a patron recently. Uh, here we go, look at that, Wine Fest 2023. So this one, Kugel Blitz is going to organize the Wine Fest. How, I love this sticker, this is so cool. What a cool sticker. So I also sent some stickers back to, uh, to Mark. So he's the person, one of the members of the, uh, the Kugel Blitz that is organizing this event. Look at that, it's kind of Andy Warhol style of the Bull Lightning. And we got some more Kugel Blitz stickers. Very, 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 very cool. I love these round stickers as well. Quite nice, also easy to stick on your boxes, deck boxes. And of course, we've got a patch. Super cool, thank you, Mark, and thank you to the Kugel Blitz. Shout out to you guys over there in Germany. And uh, I'm just trying to see if maybe I have some contact information for you guys. Uh, let's have a look. No, you can just reach out. What I'll do, you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the Discord information of Mark in the, uh, down here below, you know, just add a little text here so you can contact him uh, via Discord. And like I said, you know, if, if that doesn't work out for you, leave a message in the comments below because this tournament seems to be pretty cool. Um, what I know is that it's the 29th of July in Leinsweller, Germany. So um, yeah, you know, you could check it out if you're nearby. Sounds like fun. Anyway, this was uh, the Modest Mail Day video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.